here we go here we go welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button here we go here we go tell a friend to tell a friend of service tv here we do another video another video i was i was on the i was on the internet today then i came across this crazy story this crazy story this crazy story that i heard about jay prince i've been hearing crazy stories about jay prince for years when i mean years i mean years and years and years they call him the boogeyman <laughs> i wonder why he seems like a very respectful person to me. Speaking of um, respectful, I heard that's the number one thing that he, um, um, let me use the right words, that he demands, not really demand, but that's the number one thing that he expect from individuals is respect, is respect. So the whole thing is about being respected. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. F Service TV, tell a friend, tell a friend. So his whole thing is about being respected. Mm-hmm. He doesn't tolerate disrespect in any way, shape, or form. And to be honest, I believe him. I really believe him, especially after hearing a, 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 a crazy story, a crazy story. I said, wow. It put things in perspective why a lot of individuals may call him the boogeyman. Here we go. Here we go. You know, he's a, he always talking about his height also. He's a short fellow, so you know, short individuals, they got to. They gotta prove to a big person that they, you know they're bigger than them in a sense, even though they're obviously smaller, you know, in every way, shape, or form, at least from the physical aspect. But a short person feels like they need to, you know what? Even though I'm short, that's fine, but I'm still a bigger man, if you know what I mean. Here we go, here we go. I think they said they called it the Napoleon syndrome. Here we go, here we go. Sure, people get very angry, very feisty. Here we go, here we go. So the story was a crazy, it was a crazy story, it was a crazy story, it was a crazy story. But it basically put things in perspective that I said about why Jay Prince, some people will call him the boogeyman. So this guy is telling a story about Jay Prince and when he was managing um, Floyd Mayweather. Keep in mind, he used to be Floyd Mayweather's, Mayweather's manager many, many, many years ago. Many years ago. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. F Service TV, tell a friend, tell a friend. So I guess, well, I don't, I don't wanna say a story the way it's not meant to be said. I wanna say it the right way. But the point of the video is, Jay Prince is a very scary guy, they say. He deserves, he demands respect. And if that doesn't happen, something could probably happen. I used to always wonder what could probably happen. And I heard this guy telling this crazy story. And I said, wow, okay. Makes sense now. But I said to myself, wow, maybe this guy's going overboard. So you try and tell me that these guys are walking around with bats? Are they really walking around with bats? Here we go, here we go. Uh, at dinner one night, and I got a call uh, that there was a disturbance in my gym. And uh, uh, oh, Floyd uh, apparently had asked us not to do a fight in October, but to do it in December after James Prince's contract with him had run out. The disturbance in my gym was that some people came over with or without the knowledge of James Prince 
and proceeded to break a couple of heads of people in Mayweather's camp with baseball bats. And so the gym was splattered with uh, blood. And uh, Floyd came to my office the next day and he said, Prince wants his money from the fight that's coming up. So I said to Floyd, fine, if that's what you want, I'll write him a letter of credit. And Floyd said to me, Prince don't do no letters of credit, you better send the cash. So I wrote a check and I made it a contract with uh, a Prince's lawyer and he got paid the money that he was said he was entitled to as Floyd's manager. We were I said, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. As you can see, maybe that's probably one of the reasons why I'm not sure if that story was I'm not too sure if that story is 100% factual or actual because I'm thinking, are these guys just walking around with bats? I mean, it's possible they could walk around with the bats taped on the side of their legs because I, I, I've heard about that before. I've actually seen it before, this guy walking around with a bat taped on the side of his leg. But maybe it's just a fabricated story. I have no idea, but that's what I heard. But that will make a lot of sense why, you know, It'll probably um uh um about well make sense why maybe some individual will refer to him as a boogeyman. Here we go, here we go. But to me, he seems like a good um he seems like a good fair fair person, even though I do not know him. But just from what I observed. Until next time, guys. F Service TV. Here we go. Here we. Go.